Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So after many subscriber requests, I finally made the video for you. A typical day in the life of Rocco and I. Now this is a really honest and authentic peek into a typical day for Rocco and myself. You'll see me getting frustrated and stressed. You'll see me with no makeup on. Um, so if you have any suggestions for myself and Rocco, please let me know by putting a comment in the comments box below. And if you really enjoy this video, also please let me know because I'm thinking about making a second follow-up video which shows you what a typical weekend is like for me. Now, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do, but also make sure you switch on that notification button because I have a home tour video coming up soon as well as a how to redecorate on a budget video. So switch on that notification right now. And then in the meantime, enjoy watching a typical day for myself and Rocco. Um, it is just after 5 30 in the morning. I actually slept in. I'd normally be up um, at 5 o'clock or even just a teeny tiny bit before 5 o'clock. I normally start my day on a really healthy note. Um, I do fast, but if I have something like really healthy to start the day off, it tends to set the tone for my food consumption for the rest of the day. Now, I will normally have two large um, spoons of apple cider vinegar or what I'm now. Um, really getting into is I'm obsessed with Dr. Burke. He's on YouTube. I will link his um, channel um, below, but um, it I have his raw wheat grass juice powder in um, lemon. Now, to be really honest, this is not that delicious. So what I try and do is just, just like gulp it down. But I also put um, use my soda stream and make the water slightly fizzy. So it kind of tastes a bit more interesting. Okay, so I've done my healthy start for the day. I now have the morning to myself. This is my sacred time. No one's emailing me, no one's texting me, no one's phoning me. Actually, Tom's normally phone me, phoning me. But um, normally, if Tom is home, him and I would get up early together and do a bit of work together on the sofa, chat, catch up um, before we start our day. It's actually a really nice little ritual we have. But um, this morning, Tom has already gone to work because um, Racing Carnival is still going. So I'm gonna use this time to clear my emails, um, listen to a motivational podcast um, or motivational clip on YouTube and um, just like sort of plan, do my list of things to do for the day. Also, I use this time to have cuddles oh, with these guys. They get me all to themselves at 5 a.m. in the morning. So Rocco is working up early. However, I've managed to clear my emails as much as I can off my phone. I've um, read through my list of goals. Unfortunately, I won't get to listen to a motivational YouTube clip um, until I, after I've dropped Rocco off at school. You can hear him, Rocco, um, yelling for me to come back up and jump to bed with him to have a cuddle. So I had better go. Oh. Monkey! Oh, look! So we always have morning cuddles back in bed. For the mornings where I want Rocco to stay asleep, I will jump into bed with him because he just tends to just stay um, snuggled in for that little bit longer and I can do a lot of work off my phone. It is time for Rocco's breakfast. Every morning he has his absolute, oops, favorite, Gippsland um, vanilla yogurt. Um, he refuses to have anything else but this for breakfast. Now, if anyone has any tips as to how to get their kids to eat healthier food, particularly for breakfast, please let me know because I'm always like trying to mix things up. So one of Rocco's favorite breakfast morning routines or rituals is to eat his breakfast in front of the heater. Now, whilst he's eating his breakfast, I'm gonna make myself my bullet coffee, which is um, a it's like shot of espresso with um, a large dash of warm cream. Now, as I said, I do intermittent fasting. I probably won't eat for till about maybe 11 o'clock. 
and um, the cream is obviously got quite a high fat content which kind of keeps you full for longer but apparently um, without actually breaking your fast. I'm already so happy and it's not even 7 a.m. Okay, the dogs, um, they have a little treat and you can see Giuseppe following behind because he knows what he's about to get. Um, with the leftover cream in here, I don't like to waste things, but the dogs love the warm cream. So I will put it into their bowls for them to enjoy and they get like a little mini morning coffee themselves. But obviously without coffee, it's just cream. Two very small dogs behind me having their morning drink. It's now my turn to start getting ready for the day. Now I am constantly tidying, decluttering, putting things away. So as I walk through the house, I pick up things that need to be like put away to keep the house nice and tidy because mess and clutter is a massive trigger for me. So I feel like I'm just permanently cleaning and tidying everywhere I go. So, okay, this afternoon I just have one client meeting. I've just got a lot of deadlines I want to get done today. Giuseppe is waiting to go for a walk um, very, very patiently. I'm casually dressed. I dress pretty, like, relaxed at work, it's, but it's always very classic. I'm wearing a navy blue shirt, jeans, and um, flat shoes. Um, and also you can see, uh, which you'll probably know from my Insta stories, um, I never make my bed. I hate making my bed. But if I can try and show you what I'm wearing, jeans, and my beloved Valentino rock stud shoes. I have just cleaned my teeth. Rocco is cleaning his teeth now. Um, and let's talk uh, morning routine products. Um, normally when I, um, during the week if I'm not filming, I actually don't really like to wear too much makeup. Um, I will always put some sunscreen on. Um, and recently I did a Cosmolan peel through Douglas Piera. So I'm actually now, now super vigilant about taking better care of my skin now that I got rid of all that pigmentation. So I'm still using the Misutech, Misutech, I think you said, um, uh, products which are really good just to keep the effects of the Cosmolan peel going. Also, um, for deodorant, I never use one of those sprays. Um, I use a Elixir deodorant paste, which is absolutely amazing. It's the black chicken one. I will link it in the video description box below. And this supports breast cancer research. It is 100% natural and cruelty-free friendly as well. I do my makeup routine. So I always start um, every day. I love applying this because it actually kind of gives you a bit of a wake up. It's the MAC Prep and Prime. Now, this one has um, like a gold, um, uh, like, like gold lighter it's called actually through it which is really nice so it kind of gives you that natural glow during the day but something about when you spray it just kind of wakes you up and it's really refreshing now this will mean that my makeup actually stays on all day and I will also reapply this when I finish setting my makeup but because I've run out of I've run out of tinted moisturizer um, mental note to go and get some um, I am going to make my own tinted moisturizer by mixing um, uh, my um, primer which is a strobe cream also by Mac and my foundation mix that in together and that will give me a base now Rocco is actually now having a mini tantrum um, because I'm making this video and not paying attention to him so I will have to do this extremely quickly which is pretty much normal for me in a morning and as always I put my makeup away the moment I have finished using it just to try and keep the space as clean and tidy as possible and today I'm feeling a little bit washed out um, I'm a little bit tired at the moment and under a little bit of stress so I'm gonna just give myself a really nice all-over glow it's the hourglass ambient um, light with an all-over brush and this is a Mecca Cosmetica brush which is really nice just for fast quick easy even application now Rocco is sitting behind me he's still having a little bit of a tantrum and I have Giuseppe also at my feet, um, gagging to go for a, um, a walk. Now mascara is the one item I will not leave the house without. All right, almost ready. Next stop is my hair. I use one of these Tangle Teaser brushes. They are amazing. It's the original Tangle Teaser, not the um, knockoff one. Um, and I use it for Rocco as well, because he gets really knotty hair but um, they're so good. All right, I am done, just a spritz of perfume. All right, not too bad, I am all good to go. Um, next stop is to walk the dogs and get Ro Rocco off to, to daycare. So whilst I was doing my makeup, Rocco just um, whipped up a little um, crane. Um, I now need to go and put some sunscreen on Rocco. Now wish me luck, 
every morning this is a fight i try and explain to rocco it's really important to wear sunscreen it's like brushing your teeth twice a day is essential but um he can already hear me talking about sunscreen he knows i've got the sunscreen in my hand and it's not going to be pretty i'm going to be need two hands so if you have any tips as to how to get sunscreen on your kids without them whinging and whining and complaining and like having a tantrum please let me know Wish me So we survived the um, sunscreen application just, and um, now it's talking about food for the day. Um, I have a really sweet tooth, but I try and like delay eating sugar as late in the day as possible to buy me some, I guess, save me some calories and um, save the destructive effects of sugar in my life. Sometimes I take my lunch to work. Um, sometimes I come home and have it. Sometimes I buy it. Not, not a regular thing to buy it because I would rather save up my money and put it towards the thousand dollar project or use it to like save up to do something special on the weekend. Today I'm cheating. Um, I've got a hummus um, caramelized onion dip, which is so delicious. And I have um, some carrots, which I'm gonna take with me and use as a, um, a like a dip during the day. And, and actually you have to say, I find hummus really um, filling and of course it's really healthy. Also, I would love any tips as to how to get your children to put shoes on the morning. In the morning, I reckon I've asked Rocco about 15 times now and he's still not wearing um, shoes. Can you please put your shoes on? <sighs> All right, a bit of a false start. Um, Rocco just reminded me that we didn't do our morning meditation. Now we don't do this every morning. Um, we do it like when we remember when we can but he's insisted that he will not put his shoes on until we've done our meditation so um we're going to do this sitting here right now just for a couple of minutes and to be honest i'm starting to feel a little bit frustrated um i could probably do with it myself um the dogs are just busting to go for walks so they're gonna have to hang in for a little bit longer all right rocco are you ready no okay of course not all right rocco is going to show you how he does his meditation can you do it again one more time Yep. All right. Okay, let's start this. Yeah, I'm really gonna need this. All right, I'm gonna put the music on. So we just did our meditation and Rocco managed to get up and get himself a glass of water during it. Um, and is now, I've discovered as I open my eyes, upstairs. Hmm. Um, all right, let's get this show on the road. I need to get this kid to school and I need to walk the dogs. For the record, this is now the 16th time I've asked Rocco to put his shoes on. No, no, you've got pins at school. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Let, let's go, let's go. We have to go. Yes, 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 yes. But come on, we've got to go. Shoes on right now. Come on, right now, right now. 17. Yeah, I just said you can. He's putting his shoes on. So we are running a little bit late. Um, Rocco decided um, to pull out all the pens and throw them all over the floor, um, which I have just left because I don't have time to go and tidy them up. So we're going to ch cheat slightly. We're going to drive to the park, let the dogs have a run around, and then I'm going to take Rocco to school. Okay, so dogs are in the car. Rocco's in the in his car seat. Um, we are on our way finally, and I also want to explain. We've been walking around the streets because I could not remember where I parked the car last night. It, we finally made it to the park. Um, Rocco is playing on the slide, um, and the dogs are going to get um, some time to themselves to like have, run around, get some fresh air, and um, some exercise. But because we're running late, I've got to watch the clock. We're on our way to school. I'm just about to drop Rocco off at daycare. And I'm running like there was a lot of traffic this morning. I finally made it to the office. Um, the dogs are here. They come to work, not every day, but most days. They love being here. They love seeing the delivery guys. They love seeing clients that come in and obviously they get spoiled by the girls in the office. So now I'm here at the office, I'm gonna get some work done. I'm obsessed with these. Um, they're like breakfast granola bars. They make them fresh at Bloodhound Cafe, which is right around the corner from my office. This will be my snack at about 11 o'clock, which will mean I've fasted for about I think 17 hours or something close to it. It's pretty much what I do most days. I'm at my office working away. I feel like I spend so much of my day just like clearing emails, replying back to people. Um, it actually really overwhelms me because 
I'm, my stress levels I find being dictated by the amount of emails I have in my inbox. And I'm quite meticulous or I'm a minimalist in deleting things as much as possible. Anyway, um, I've done my fasting. I had my delicious um, breakfast muesli bar from across the road. Now I also take this, it is a trace minerals like drops and I'm just gonna put it in my water. I don't know if this works, but um, it's Dr. Berg's and I love Dr. Berg. Um, I listen to his videos all the time on YouTube and it's supposed to help, I guess, imp like get some minerals back into your, your body because they're not in the soil anymore because we've overused the land so much and like killed so many minerals with all the fertilizers and chemicals we put into the into the earth beneath us. So look, who knows if it works, but I like to try and do the best thing I can to stay healthy because as I say, I do love sweet sugary things. So it's my lunch break. I would normally don't take a lunch break. I just sort of power through, not being a martyr at all, but I would just prefer to finish up a little bit earlier so I can pick Rocco up earlier. However, today I'm a little bit stressed. Um, I've had another virus put on my um, computer at work and I've had a, a deadline suddenly put on me. I'm taking 35, 40 minutes to myself to go to the gym and have a workout. I was planning on doing a Pilates class. Um, however, because I didn't get to listen to a motivational podcast or YouTube clip this morning, I'm actually going to go and do just some weights by myself. I can put my headphones on and just like, um, you know, just sort of multitask by doing some exercise and listening to something inspiring and motivational. I have my headphones on so I can work out on my mind whilst I work physically on my body. So I ended up having a 45 minute weights workout because I was doing weights I didn't really sweat much so I was able to put my normal clothes back on without a shower and um, I listened to um, two TED Talks, one on this woman who didn't go shopping for a year, no spend for 12 months, incredible, and the other one about zero waste, and also ironically saving money. So I don't know how effective my weights workout was, but look, it was 45 minutes better than nothing, but I'll tell you what, my mindset feels um, so much better. I feel like recalibrated, so yeah. All right, back to the office because I've got meetings. I am just heading back to the office. Um, I need to make sure I get back there quite quickly. And um, one thing I do whenever I'm in the car by myself is I listen to the ABC radio. Um, I love the conversations they have, the people they interview, um, the current affairs, um, being updated on the news. I just find the, the quality of journalism fantastic and it just feeds my brain. Um, I can listen to the US politics, I can hear about you know, a healthcare crisis, um, I know about what's happening in Nauru. Um, you know, I just feel so much more connected and informed as to what is going around, around me and, and because the, it covers such a wide range of topics and really important topics, it helps give a sense of perspective again. Sometimes I can get caught up in the most silly, shallow, materialistic things that really don't matter. But when you hear about 80 kids that have just been kidnapped this week in Africa, you kind of sort of realize like I'm being so superficial, like sweating these silly little things. When you hear about that, those poor kids, those poor parents, like, so I highly recommend listening to the ABC. And it's not something you have to listen to for like half an hour at a time, literally just like snippets, five minutes here, 10 minutes here in between like running Rocco to daycare or running back to the office like it just makes a huge difference um, in my intellectual growth I am just about to get walk into the office uh, my makeup is still on um, so I don't really need to touch that up uh, that um, spray I use is really good and I've realized though that the mascara I was using is I think maybe nine months old so I'm gonna pick up Rocco today and go and pick up um, a new mascara and this is the one I use I absolutely love it it's um, it's called extended play um, so I'm just gonna quickly touch up whatever I have left in here and put on some lip gloss so I got a little bit more polished and ready for my meeting and I have one of my tangle teasers in my car so I can brush my hair um, which I'm just about to do. So I'll look presentable within a second. Ta-da! Amazing what a brush of the hair, quick flick of mascara and a little top up of lip gloss, Lano Lips um, does, woohoo. Now coming back to the office, these two are always ready for me. 
It is towards the end of the day. I have eaten my lunch. I had my hummus with crackers and um, carrots. It was delicious and really filling. However, the afternoon um, sugar craving has kicked in and I am obsessed with these digestive biscuits. I think this is like the third one I'm eating this afternoon. But I'm gonna let, this is gonna be the last one I promise for the day. And I'm gonna race and rush to go and pick Rocco up so that we can take the dogs for a walk and start doing something really nice. And of course, cook dinner together. Time to go pick Rocco up from daycare. All right, you dogs, come on dogs, in the car. All right, Rocco is back. We are going to the makeup shop to grab some mascara. He's gonna come with me because he loves, if you watch me on Insta stories, you know how much Rocco loves doing my makeup. So whilst Rocco is chatting up um, the store assistants, I have found something I really want. This makeup palette, um, it's $120, but when you buy these colors individually, it ends up being over $540. So this palette is absolutely gorgeous. Look at all the warm colors. I really want this, but I've just got to wait until my other palette like gets to the bottom and really wears out. So I've got to follow my minerals and rules, but this is just divine. Like look at this, these like roses and um, pinks and the shimmers and like it's just gorgeous deep colors, which would be beautiful blended. Another thing that I really like, this is so cute, so like perfect for traveling, perfect for like a minimalism capsule collection. They've got four different palettes. This one is called Amber. Like look at this beautiful gold, these pinks, like this is everything that I love about makeup. Oh, I should really get out of here quickly. You'll be pleased to hear I got left this Mac store only getting what I needed, which was two mascaras, one black, one brown. And also when it came to taking these items away, I said, just leave it like that. Um, please don't give me a paper bag because I don't want to waste. Next stop, Woolworths, because what are we having for dinner tonight? Nachos. Nachos. Healthy nachos. That's right. Take one to, to, to school. Yes, grab a zucchini. We've just got home and we are, I am unloading the groceries and preparing for dinner tonight, but we can't start cooking dinner because we need to walk the dogs. I'm gonna grab the leads and the dog bags and we're gonna go for a nice afternoon walk and catch up on the day. It is cooking time. We always cook dinner together. It's a great way to get Rocco to eat his dinner because he made it himself. Um, now, often we do burritos for dinner because it's a great way of getting a lot of vegetables into Rocco's stomach with minimal complaining. And I do all these things to like maximize the goodness in the burritos, like shred zucchini, shred carrot and make it look like cheese, hide kale in the meat. Um, yeah, just like really disguise the vegetables, but he absolutely loves it. <laughs> so, but he asked tonight to have nachos, so I'm going to try and do a healthy version of that. <laughs> oh my god, you are crazy! <laughs> nutty, nutty. That, that is look, a booger. A booger. <laughs> we need to wash those carrots now. Uh, all right, so we're going to start cooking. Otherwise, we will have a very late dinner, and I like to eat dinner really early. <laughs> I put heaps of carrot in there. <laughs> I put, oh look, I put this bit in there. Just so you know, we will be thoroughly washing those carrots. You know I don't like those. You need to eat this Mmm, 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 It's delicious. We have finished dinner and amazingly Rocco had three servings of zucchini. Um, whilst I was cleaning up, Rocco's been doing some arts and crafts, working on his cubby house. And we are now going to have um, a shower together. So it turns out we're not having a shower. We're having arts and crafts time. We're decorating the cubby house together. And then we're gonna have a shower on me. No, we're gonna play all night. We're gonna play all night. And we're gonna have a shower when it's night. <laughs> no, I'm tired, Monkey. I really think we need to go to bed soon. 
So Rocco and I have had a shower, um, cleaned our teeth, and he's in his pajamas waiting in my bed. Um, we're gonna hang out together and um, play some games before going to sleep and doing our highlights of the day. Now, um, I cooked dinner and that, I actually did a massive serving. So um, I have enough food for a really yummy salad for tomorrow. And I have enough leftover mints um, with hidden vegetables, uh, which I can freeze and use for another time. So really making the most of my grocery budget. Now, before I go to bed, I do this thing, um, one of two different things. I set a timer for 10 minutes and I try and clean and tidy the house as much as I can do within 10 minutes. You like try to like beat the clock. And it's amazing when you see the timer going, you just power through and you can get through so much cleaning and tidying and organizing in a very short period of time. But there are nights where I'm like shattered and tired and just cannot be bothered. So I simply say to myself, just simply put 10 things away. And sometimes it can be 10 things in one room. Sometimes it's 10 things on one level. Or if I'm really, really tired, it's just 10 things across the whole entire house. But it means by having a clean, tidy, organized house, a little bit tighter than what you left it, it's just a nicer way to start the day and you don't start the day doing boring things like cleaning. Um, okay, so I'm about just to set the clock for 10 minutes and quickly clean and tidy my house, which unfortunately means that pile of laundry that I've been like putting off day after day probably needs to be incorporated in the 10 minute challenge. It is the end of the day and Rocco and I have cleaned our teeth that we're in our pajamas and this is where we snuggle up together and get into bed together. And every day we end the day with what? What do we do? What do we do? You and I. Play play. Alright, we do our highlights of the day. We talk about the highlights of our day. We each discuss the highlights of the day and pick one of ours. Which was the favourite? As you can see, Rocco is really excited about doing highlights of the day. It's a really nice Share ritual that just wraps the day up and makes really you realise you actually had a better toes. day than you realised. Share on my toes. Your toes. All right. Like that. I love everyone. Listen to you. All right. Nine, nine, everyone. Nine, nine, everyone. <laughs>